All right, we're already through the first week of April, and I think it's about time that we take off the back blade here that I use for uh, plowing snow and pushing snow and pulling snow. And I've already removed the uh, front snow plow off the tractor. But uh, I wanna go ahead and take this off and get it set up on some dollies. What I wanna do is get this thing cleaned up get a fresh coat of paint on it and I've got some orange implement paint so I think I'm gonna paint it orange to kind of match the tractor got my dollies on here ready to set it on them so go ahead and take it over there and set it on those dollies so I can move it around when I'm ready to start working on it little pond area here to uh, wash equipment off and things like that I've shown videos in the past on that but one thing that I also do is I use it to fill this uh, not so ordinary lawn roller right, this lawn roller used to be my father's and he had this thing specially built it is eight feet wide and three feet in diameter and this thing holds close to I want to say 475 gallons of water and we figure that it weighs, once it's full, close to 4,000 pounds. And I hook that up to my tractor and use that to roll the lawn. Well, why he had this roller made was he used to fly experimental aircraft or ultralight aircraft. Uh, the kind you'd see that they either have like a snowmobile or a motorcycle motor on the back of the thing. And uh, basically just had a big wing on it and he would fly these around. But he had a little runway built in his yard a runway made out of grass and he would roll that runway every year with this roller to keep it nice and smooth for when they take off and land but since uh since his passing this was one of the things that uh i wished that i could get from his estate and i did um i've since then painted it orange because it was starting to rust it used to be yellow i've added this scraper rail to it here and what that does is any dirt clumps, anything that gets caught on the drum, that scrapes them and drops them off. That was not on there prior to him having it. So I've added that rail and I use it to, uh, to roll out the gravel pad out of here when I come through and scrape this off or reorganize the gravel or what I might do with that. It works absolutely perfect for flattening that gravel out, but it even works better out rolling the yard. So I want to show you how I go ahead and fill this up with a little uh, gas powered Honda water pump. We're going to go ahead and fill this end of it. So I've got a fill hole in this side of it that I've got a plug that goes in there. But as you fill this side with a lot of water, you need to let air out. So over on this side, I've got another plug. There's actually two of them. This one is uh, absolutely frozen shut in there it will not come out i've tried just about everything so i've re-drilled and tapped a new plug in that side and that basically just lets the air escape as we're filling the drum up so let's go ahead and get this uh, monster filled up
it's all filled up. That took about almost 20 minutes. 475 gallons, so it's not too big of a pain. And uh, I always drain this thing off in the fall. That's why I had to refill it today. Today's the first day that uh, we'll be using it since uh, it's been put up for winter storage. But let's go ahead and uh, get this thing out there. And I know that uh, you won't be able to see flatness on the camera, but you can rest assured that when you have close to 4,000 pounds pushing down on the ground, on the grass, in a concentrated spot across that roller as it's touching down at the ground, it sure does make it nice and smooth and uh, kind of takes the bumps and bounces out of it when you're mowing with the, uh, the little garden tractor or the lawn tractor. Now this big tractor doesn't make much of a difference, but the mower deck that I pull behind it with those smaller wheels, when that ground is flatter, it keeps those mower decks from bouncing around so much and um, just makes a much nicer cut. I normally run this thing in four wheel drive when I'm going down the hills in my front yard, just because, and I've had it happen to me before, in a smaller tractor that I used to own, it was uh, John Deere 970. One of the main reasons I got this bigger tractor was that roller physically going down the hill pushed the rear end of my tractor around sideways and it scared the bejesus out of me. So I like running this thing in four wheel drive and I like having a bigger tractor to handle that much weight behind it. Again, it might be overkill, but uh, I didn't create the roller, my father did. It just so happens that I got it after his passing and I'm gonna utilize it and make the best I can for rolling about the 15 acres that I keep mowed around here. So let's get out and make a day of it rolling the yard. And the other thing I also wanted to point out was this scraper bar. Before I added this scraper bar here, 
it used to get clumps of mud, clumps of grass, clumps of dirt on that thing. And it actually works rather nicely. It's just the weight of it. Just holds it tight against it. And clean, cleans that drum off of there. Flops the mud back down and re-rolls it back over. So it works out really nice. So let's finish up. Well, I guess that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up and we'll see you again on the next one.